How's it going, everybody? Martin from Matthew Studio Equipment. There we go. We are here to talk about something pretty cool. Kit stands. Which one do I need? How much weight can I put on them? What's the footprint? You know what? We're going to cover that stuff. Why? Because we understand that it can be confusing. When you're flipping through a catalog or scrolling online, it's hard to see how they compare to one another. So we're going to go over four of our more popular kit stands so that you have a better understanding of what kit stand is going to get the job done. Check this out. This guy, it's our reverse stand. It's wonderful. And check out that footprint. It's wide. It's going to be able to get behind furniture if you're going to want to get yourself a backlight. And then something that is different from all the other kit stands is this very low profile, unique leg orientation stuff. I'm going to have to redo that. What it does is get the, it gets the profile of the legs all the way down on the ground. So you're not only going to get extra support, but you're not going to have a whole bunch of profile up high that's going to limit it from being able to sneak underneath coffee tables, couches, so that you can get a great backlight in a tight spot. It's a nice thick stock, so it's going to be sturdy. It's going to be investment quality, just like all the Matthews gear. And it's called a reverse stand because the legs Yes, they go reverse, just like that. Very small package, but it's going to get you pretty high up there and rise up. So you're going to be able to get just taller than one Martine, 83 and a half inches, and you're going to be able to put a smaller light on there, a brick light, something small but punchy that's going to be able to give you a nice edge or whatever you want to use it for. So with that very low profile of the legs with a reverse stand, I've been able to actually get this stand right in between the ottoman and the couch. And because of the low profile of the legs that are parallel with the ground, they're able to tuck under the ottoman and tuck under the couch. So just like that, we can sneak our light right where we need it in the little nooks and crannies of your location or studio. It's around an 11 pound payload, which isn't a ton, but enough to support smaller lights that are out there now, which are surprisingly powerful. Folding it up, very, very simple. It has that 5 eighths with the undercut right there, so it's a standard pin. But let's move on to the next stand, all right? It's going to be a, a little step up in beefiness. This is the B389788. We also call it the medium duty with break in black. That's what the sticker says. It's a more traditional build where you have that standard leg and spider deal. You can loosen your bottom T-handle and the top T-handle on your spiders, and you can drop, come on down with me. There we go. Welcome to the bottom floor. What you can now do is drop that riser all the way down to the ground which is going to give you one more point of contact. The minimum height is going to be 30 inches. Now we're going to see how high we go. All right. So this guy is going to take a payload of 20 pounds. Pretty beefy. But the footprint is only 28 inches. So although it can take 20 pounds to 92 and a half inches, so 92 and a half inches, 20 pounds, but you only have a 28 inch footprint, which is wonderful when you're trying to sneak it into a little nook on set, but you're not going to want to take this guy outside. Whatever you do, you should have something like this. Yeah, I'm not going to hit myself on this take. We're not going to use the one where I hit myself, all right? This is a boa bag. It's wonderful. Let's punch in. That's sticky, icky neoprene goodness right there that when I wrap it around the riser, it stays put right there. So even though you have a smaller footprint, you're going to have a little bit more stability when you add weight. All right, there we have it. Moving on to the next stand. This, 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 See? not yeah. easy to keep up with Martine, not that easy. We have our medium duty maxi right here. Get out of the way, guys. Maxi just came to town. Larger of our medium kit stands. It has a boom. 32 inch footprint take the stem all the way down to the ground and we have a 
36 inch collapsed minimum height. And we're about to go way up. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Let's do this. Rising all the way up. Let's see if I can do this because it's not going to be easy. This is all the way up there to our grid. 119 inches. And I can say that confidently because I checked before on the last take. There you have it. The magic has been revealed. Bringing it on down. Guys, once again, there's brake pads in here. These aren't these little pinch collars that are made of plastic or pop metal or whatever. These are, ca these are, <laughs> these are really cool. These are bonnets that have brake pads inside, like your bike or your car. Brake housing, brakes, very important in our design and in the build of all of our stands. So you see there's a, a box right here in the bonnets. These guys that, that are the, the riser brake housing thingies, they're called bonnets. And inside of here, we have brake pads. Brake pads are so important. It means that there's going to be a pad once you engage that T-handle is going to be a pad that is pushed up against the side of the riser and locks it into place. That means you don't have some cheesy little pinch casting that is designed to eventually break. You have brake inside there, a little brake pad. Look, at here's a little brake pad here. And here's a little T-handle. Guess what? You can call us up and we can replace them so that your gear keeps working. Nut and bolt. So we have nuts and bolts construction. So this is a bolt that goes directly through the leg and then you can remove it so that when you need to replace something, you just remove this nut and bolt and just like that, you're gonna be able to replace the part. Invest in your investment by getting investment quality stands to keep your gear up in the air and not have it crashing down from some cheapo kit stand. Don't make me mad about this, all right? Just get the right stuff, guys. So there you have it. This is our medium duty maxi. It has a footprint that is gonna allow you to use it indoors as well as outdoors in a tame environment. If it's like blowing and gusting and yeah, you're gonna want some bigger gear. But if you're shooting outside, nice level ground, birds are chirping, it's gonna be able to do it. Welcome to my office. Pay no attention to my boss's business card. If you grip hard, you too can have a beautiful office just like this one where I have managed to sneak a backlight into the back corner here with my medium duty kit stand. It's a smaller footprint, I have a smaller light on there and it tucks away very nicely into the corner. We're indoors so that's going to be a perfect use for this stand. My key light is actually a larger light that has a modifier on the front of it so it gives it a little bit of an offset load. That's why you want that extra footprint that the maxi stand will give you. That medium maxi stand is going to give you a little bit more footprint. I got my bowl bag wrapped around the base and I feel very secure with my maxi holding my key and my medium duty kit stand holding my backlight. And there you have it. Simple lighting with some very, very useful stands. Business. Talking business here. Buy, 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 sell, sell, sell. Put me on the red eye to China. I'll have the lobster. Fax yourself to Indonesia. Do it now. All right, moving on to the next stand. Woo! The final of the four kit stands that we are comparing. It is our light heavy duty kit stand. It is the biggest, the beefiest of the four in this awesome comparison video. Um, and it is built to support your larger lighting units. It's still a 25 pound capacity, but it has a wider footprint than the medium maxi that we just talked about. 42 inch folded collapsed height, which means when we open it up, it's also going to be, when it's dropped all the way to the ground, yep, 42 and a half inches. So 42 and a half inches collapsed and as your minimum height. And now I'm gonna drop all the way down and that gives us 149 and a half inches. That's right. So we're around 42 and a half inches minimum height, 149 and a half inches max height. There you have it. It is wonderful for heavier units. It has a larger footprint, indoor, outdoor use. These are thick, beefy braces, man. 
They're thick, they're beefy, nuts and bolts construction. We're making them to fill the set with glorious light. Oh, hi, Martine here in the Matthews showroom where we have a light on our light heavy duty kit stand way up in the air and is motivated by this awesome pool of light that has been given to us by our Matthews showroom skylights. So we're able to very securely with bags on our base support this around 15 pound lighting unit to be able to give me some light so I'm not just standing in a dark shadow in front of a beautiful pool of skylight. Here's the center of it and then I'll go What we're seeing over my shoulder is a reflection of a really cool setup. The light heavy duty kit stand has a footprint so that you can use a two and a half inch grip head and a grip arm to be able to offset a load like this 50 centimeter CRLS reflector that is bouncing that skylight and giving me all of this amazingness <laughs> right here. So here we have the four kit stands packed into the back of my vehicle. We have the reverse stand, the medium stand, the medium maxi, and the lightweight heavy duty stand. This is how big they are when they are collapsed. This is how they look when they are next to one another. So you can get an idea of the size of these stands. Ah, I got you for a second, huh? You thought I was a kit stand. No, it's just me, Martine, thanking you for tuning in. Let's hear it for the kit stands. Good job, little guy, medium guys, bigger guy, light, heavy guy. No stand is better than another. They all serve their own purpose, and that's what this comparison is all about. We want you to know which stand is going to be best for your kit, for your productions, for your creative endeavors. So invest in quality gear that has features that is going to keep your gear working for you. It's important to know what separates the best <laughs> from the rest. It's all about knowing what your gear can do for you. Thank you for tuning in, and take care of each other. Matthew Studio, doing spins, doing punches, doing kicks. We love you. <laughs>